check it out. I don't know how well you can see. It's not. I'm filming it through the trees a little bit with the filter. So, uh, this is your intro to the week, dudes. You got the solar eclipse happening. It hasn't hit totality yet here. Uh, I'm just finding some different positions to take a little bit of a fill, uh, some picture photos and such. Uh, but look forward to what I've got. I mean, I don't, I'm working on a cell phone camera, so don't expect too much. What is up, people? <clears throat> you can see me here trying to set up a uh, jury rigged device to allow me to film the sun. Uh, don't know how well it's going to work. I mean, my phone and solar eclipse glasses aren't exactly the best uh, methods to accomplish this. Doesn't exactly uh, get the image too well. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. It actually seems to work better if I move the filter away from the camera instead of having it right on the lens, which I would have thought right on the lens would work best, but uh, what do I know? Let's see. I think it's freezing up on me, you guys. This phone that I'm talking to you guys on right now is really crappy. Crappy phone that freezes all the time. Haven't figured out why. It is already starting to get much darker out here right now. Let's see what I could, what you can see on the camera. Just a second here. Bear with me. Can't see a whole lot. Let's zoom in and see what we can what I can do for you there. It's, it works better when I do it like that. Uh, I still can't tell, but it's getting... Look at that. There, here comes all the cicadas. Now my phone doesn't want to zoom out. can hear all the cicadas. I'm going to prop you guys up and we'll just keep on recording from this point. It'll be low down because I'm managing two cameras so better deal with it. Just nearing the total eclipse. We're recording on two cameras here, so if you're watching my vlog, you're going to hear everything twice probably. It's getting actually much harder to uh, film because it's dark now. Let's see if I can. There's just a tiny sliver of it left. I can't seem to record it, so unfortunately it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to show you guys. This is, is mind-boggling. There's just a little tiny sliver of sun left. I think we got less than a minute to go. I really wish I could catch it and show it to you guys. The sky is turning dark. The 
the cicadas are active. seconds. I'm going to set the camera down. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Alright, setting the camera down. The light above me just came on. Look at that. Holy cow. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Check that out. That is so cool. I can't even get it on camera. Holy cow, that is mind-bogglingly cool. The light above me just came on. It's so dark outside. I'm going to try and zoom out on the camera. You would think that that was just the moon. Frickin' wow! We are maybe um, two or three minutes away from the total solar eclipse, people. It is just a little sliver of uh, sun available left. Though you can't really tell, that's what it is. You can see everything's kind of darker outside. I will definitely make sure I get a view of, the, of what it looks like out here when it is darker. And then as it starts to get light. It's actually at about 80% now. This is my other phone, the one that's crappy. I'm, I'm very frustrated with the end results here. You can't tell that it's like 85% with the cell phone screen, but it is. <sighs> Why can't you just work right and be easy, huh? Make life simple for me. There you go. You can see it a little bit better if I put it along the edge of the filter. My broke ass needs to just get a new camera, huh? Alright, people. We'll be back when it's a uh, total eclipse. We are just nearing the total eclipse. We're recording on two cameras here, so... If you're watching my vlog, you're going to hear everything twice, probably. It's getting actually much harder to uh, film because it's dark now. Let's see if I can... There's just a tiny sliver of it left. I can't seem to record it, so unfortunately it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to show you guys. This is, this is, this is mind boggling. There's just a little tiny sliver of sun left. I think we got less than a minute to go. I really wish I could catch it and show it to you guys. The sky is turning dark. The cicadas are active. Oh, 
I probably got about 20 seconds. I'm gonna set the camera down. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. All right, setting the camera down. The light above me just came on. Look at that. Holy cow. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Check that out. That is so cool. I can't even get it on camera. Holy cow, that is mind-bogglingly cool. The light above me just came on. It's so dark outside. I'm gonna try and zoom out on the camera. You would think that that was just the moon. Whoa! Freaking wow! Wow, I'm gonna stop recording and try and take some photos. That was incredible. You can see everything getting light out again. The lamp above me just, or the street light just turned back off. Everything around me is kind of still in a haze of darkness. The cicadas will probably quiet down again soon. They're probably thinking, what the heck? That was a short night. So despite the disappointing nature of my cameras, uh, this is, wow. It was amazing to see. And uh, I'm probably going to take some still photos from the internet and throw them on the vlog so you got just see if I can't. Because I, I want you guys to see. I'm sure plenty of people see, but I'll, I'll, I want something in my vlog to remember it from, too. <sighs> Watching the moon go away from the sun now. But that was incredible, you guys. That was... I don't even know how to describe it. I've never seen one like that before in my life. And... It was an experience to have. I'm at a loss of words. That's how cool it was. I'm at a... I don't know driving away uh, drove all the way here from Florida just to see this <laughs> that tells you how much of an experience it is for people yep it was definitely an experience now I'm sitting here watching it online it's uh, only a few minutes later it's in Illinois now. Everyone that sees it, it's just, it's an experience to have. I mean, it's quickly getting brighter. It's almost like it turned up the movie lights. It's really stunning. The return of the light and the applause. It's still dark outside here. It came for. <laughs> It was in the nick of time, and the light returns. Astronomer Derek Pitts was with us before. He's been... This is definitely one of those times that I wish I had my good camera. Really need to get that repaired or replaced.
the, that smell, it's that rain smell mixed with soil. Nature is fascinating to me. As if you guys are even remotely a long time watcher, which is mostly just me, myself and I, uh, you'll know that uh, I love taking videos like this. I love being out in it too if I have the proper clothing on. <laughs> So I found out that the spider in last week's vlog was, in fact, a brown recluse. Hopefully the phone's not screwing up now. I switched the device storage location, so hopefully that'll fix that problem. I'm, I don't know, though, because the problem was present before that, so... Earlier today, I saw a turkey run across right here. Into the trees. And from what I hear, I'll see lots of turkeys around here. I should get my first paycheck from here uh, Wednesday, between Wednesday and Friday. And my last paycheck from Teletech on Thursday. Not going to be very much that one. Maybe like, I think like maybe $70. <laughs> but I should have like 240 well about $200 coming from here. And then next week I'll get paid for this week's work, which will have 48 hours on it. So that will be the good check. Yeah, the good one. Mm-hmm. And then in a few weeks, I think I might start saving up to get a, start building the new computer build. I might start working towards that. Which will be pretty epic when it's done. When it's done. When it's done. I'm working towards the 2018 Epic PC. Because you know me. Most of the parts I'll probably keep the same, like the motherboard, the RAM, the power supply, the CPU, the, uh, yeah. I might replace the graphics cards for one GTX 1080 Ti, but I'm not positive on that yet. Uh, mostly it may be just a new, uh, a new case, which will be, uh, I'm thinking about going for a computer desk this time, instead of a computer case. And I'm considering getting a new monitor, as the one that I have. I think if you guys remember a few weeks ago, I vlogged about it getting damaged. Uh, it's barely noticeable but to the average person, but to me, I'm OCD, so I see it every time that screen's on. And most of the time, I don't even use the screen now. It just sits dark. So I'm debating whether I'll go with another large format TV, just a newer one, uh, or if I will jump down to the ultra-wide monitors and go with the uh, triple monitor setup again, because that was always really cool to me. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just wasting time talking on this vlog while it rains, hoping for some good lightning. 
maybe a bolt somewhere in the yard over there to startle the hell out of me and maybe you'll go, oh my fucking god, and drop the phone. Because that would be kind of funny, but cool at the same time. Back to the PC thing, there are two separate cases, compute, or P desk cases that I'm looking at. Uh, one is by a company called iCable. Uh, and the case there is around $2,000. However, I don't have to pay for it all at once. I have to pay it in payments, and I, that's like their high-end one. I'm not thinking about getting one of their high-end ones. Uh... And the other one, I think, I think the other one's about the same, too, but, uh, it's, uh, or it's a $1,000. It's one of the PC desk cases from, uh, ah, oh, crap, Inwin, or I was considering the Red Harbinger, but I don't know if the Red Harbinger is even purchasable anymore, so. I know you can get the Inwin desks on, uh, Amazon and Newegg, or at least Amazon, I know, I'm pretty positive of iCable, you have to buy directly, or sorry, iTable, the, the IC table, there we go. Uh, you have to buy from their website, as far as I know. And I think IC tables, desks are built to order, so they're not even manufactured yet until you order one. I'm torn because IC tables, computers, will be in, like, uh, a side drawer-like thing on the side of the computer, while, uh, while, which will look really cool the way it's designed, but, uh, if you want examples, go look at, uh, go look at IC Table's website, or Google IC, ta YouTube IC Table, uh, or... Inwin, which is the desk that has the computer uh, parts, components, right there at the top, underneath a set of a, a giant piece of glass. So you can just look down and see all your components running. So I'm, I'm really not sure which direction I want to go with it yet. That might be a bit of a rumble. Feel that one. What's up, guys? Another clip. Me and the family, well, me and my brother and Gabe, went to uh, the buffet, the Chinese buffet. I'm not sure what kind of fish these are. I think that is a, uh, uh, a shark. Forgot what the full name is. Not sure what those guys are. I think those might be tiger barbs. A crab. A placastomus. And no idea what that is. That might be a, uh, <clears throat> a dragon something. I forget what they're called. I used to have one. That's my brother right there. What's up, Mike? What's up, peeps? Hey, Gabe. You're on candid camera, buddy. Yep, that's... that's the world gets to see his behavior. We're getting him some new shoes. Ooh, those are cool shoes. Yeah, big surprise. Those are Gabe, they're only over here, so. Those are good looking shoes. What got? These are not good looking shoes. These are shoes to get you popular in school. Damn, walking all over you, buddy. There you go. Gabriel took our advice and got the cool shoes. Right, Gabe? 
Yeah. You've already got that one halfway done. She likes her pig ears. Titan stoked about his giant bone. Oh yeah. What do you think that's from? <laughs> that is that would be a big pig. I was about to say, yeah, that looks like a cat bone. Could you imagine the pig that would come from? A four. I got a What's up, people? Check it out. I am sitting here uh, in the VR uh, watching the Conor McGregor fight versus Floyd Mayweather. The Conor, Floyd Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. There we go. Uh, the fight is literally just about to start. We're at the uh, at the. Shoot, there you go. We're at the National Anthem part. I don't have the greatest internet here, so my stream isn't like 100% quality. But I am uh, sitting here in a movie theater in the VR, watching it, sharing it with a couple other people. Uh, a couple other friends are all watching it together, the three of us. Um... But, yeah, man, apparently a lot of pe other people are uh, watching it on VR, too, because I was seeing a whole lot of rooms of people watching this. Uh, but uh, there's there's this guy standing up in VR, putting it with his hand over his chest. Uh, people are looking at me like I'm crazy, too. Because when you're in VR, your mouth moves when you talk. Uh, your, your avatar mouth. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get back to the show, so uh, thanks for checking this out. I just wanted to see, I don't know what I look like with this on. I'm sure I look like a complete moron. Like my new eyes, though. They're bloodshot because I'm up all night. Yeah, that's the reason why. The fight is about to start. So, uh, I want Conor McGregor to win. Uh... Just because I do. I like him. Seems like a pretty cool dude. And... This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's get ready to rumble! Who's that? Not only do I think I'll beat him, but I'll make it look easy. Alright guys, later. What's up people? Yeah, brother, we're the first customers in at IHOP. I had some strawberry cream filled uh, crepes and my brother had the breakfast sampler. Cause he's a fatty. Of course he gets the, the most amount of food. Uh, we're at IHOP by the way. It's like 6.15 in the morning. And he didn't tell you that it took him an entirely 15 seconds to eat his breakfast. I was hungry. That's not like there's a lot to crepes, you know. He didn't even chew it. He just stuck a straw in and sucked. Yep. <laughs>